Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Welcome back. Today I'm bringing you some epic Kiba Infective gameplay and will it pass the Captain Shock's test? Will it get the Captain Shock's seal of approval? Well, stay tuned to find out. The cost of this K-Bar to purchase if you don't get it in a supply drop, and I actually purchased this weapon, I didn't get it through the supply drop system, it cost 4,000 salvage, and that is a lot of salvage to spend on a weapon, on an epic weapon, so is it worth your hard earned salvage? A good question to also ask is, should you get two legendary weapons for the price of this invective K-Bar? Now I'll answer those questions as the gameplay progresses and you'll see how the gun performs as well. Now I'm a 5 plus KD player, you guys know this, so I'm going to be pushing this gun very thoroughly, I'm going to be pushing it to its limit and really testing this weapon to give you guys the best opinion of mine of whether it's worth it or not. So the attachments that I'm using are quick draw, grip and rifle barrel and works very well on the K-Bar. It's my most favorite setup in fact for the K-Bar assault rifle. Now the Invective comes with two perks. It comes with one high caliber so if you get some headshots you can actually melt them just like that. He got vaporized there and also reduced recoil. Now if you think about it, if you've ever used a K-Bar before and you're at a suitable skill level, you play game battles, you play competitive, you will know the K-Bar on its own, not even the epic version, does not kick that much to warrant that reduction in the recoil because one can control the recoil properly as it is. You can use this gun as a laser beam if controlled right and look at the pro players, their streams when you watch them, they're playing competitive, you know they're playing for a lot of money, you notice that their K-Bar does not kick at all and that's when you really practice with this weapon and really fine tune your recoil management skills. Now the enemy team are actually pretty decent, they're trying very hard, they want to win and nothing is wrong with that, I like when they do that because it makes the game entertaining and this is the suitable, the most suitable weapon for this type of gameplay, especially because you're going to be aggressive on them, they are coming at you aggressive and you just absolutely meet them head on just like that. So the other gun perk that comes with the K-Bar Invective Epic Weapon is High Caliber, so you get a Faraday Slug. So when you shoot them in the head, it gives you a reduction in the time to kill and it can be very effective at times actually. I enjoy it quite a lot. However, it depends on you aiming for their heads and hitting your shots at their heads. Now quite often or not, you will see the enemy team jumping around, they're moving all over the map, so sometimes aiming for the head is not the most suitable thing to do and will actually make you lose a gunfight if you just keep constantly aiming for their heads. So are they good gun perks on the K-Bar Invective? Well it makes the gun interesting, it's quite fun to get those headshots with this weapon. It's very fun actually and you can see the time to kill, you can notice the time to kill, the faster time to kill when that happens. As for the increased stability perk, well of course it's nice to have. I feel it, I definitely feel it, you can tell, tell the difference between you know a regular K-Bar and the added stability perk on the infective, but it's not a huge difference. It's not something like you definitely need that on the K-Bar. Like I said, with good recoil management, you don't even need that. You don't even feel it that much to warrant to say that it's a great perk, a great gun perk on this weapon and it makes the gun superior. But I can see it as a benefit to those who really can't control the K-Bar recoil as of yet. You know, some people actually struggle to use the K-Bar because of the wonky recoil. But to me, it's not that much, but that, it, that comes with, you know, recoil management. So once they develop that recoil management skill, then you'll realize it's not that great. But overall, those two perks are not bad at all. They're actually pretty decent. However, there is a downside to this. There is definitely a downside, which is reduced damage when you shoot at the enemy's legs. Now, this may seem not a big deal to the average player. However, when you're playing tryhards, and synaptic tryhards with propulsion 
which I do happen to run in quite often a lot in this game they are flying through the air I tell you guys this they don't walk they fly through the air so it, it is inevitable that you will shoot at their legs sometimes when they jump across from a corner trying to surprise you you will shoot at their legs sometimes so if you have a gun that is reducing your damage towards their legs it may not serve you well in intense battles against tryhards which leads me to believe that the K-Bar Invective is more geared towards new players who really can't control the recoil, who needs that extra help with those headshots and generally just wants a easier weapon, an easier K-Bar to use to, in order, you know, to get some benefit with this weapon, get a camo challenges done, stuff like that. However, through someone like me who enjoys beating down tryhards, and the tryhards do come, they try to challenge me every single time and they get beaten up every single time, 99% of the time. Of course, I don't play a boots on the ground game, I play an aerial combat game. It's legit like I'm playing Duck Hunt from the Nintendo era if you can remember back then. Also if you know about clay pigeon shooting, you know when they say pull and a clay just flies through air and you have to shoot it with your gun? Well, when I say pull in this game, you see a synaptic flying through the air and I have to try and shoot him. So you can tell the K-Bar Invective is not a suitable weapon for someone playing against stronger players. So with that in mind, is it worth the 4000 salvage to buy the K-Bar Invective Elite Assault Rifle? Well, the answer is simply no. It is not worth 4000 salvage for this weapon due to that detrimental downside it has with the reduction in damage towards the legs. So if you're playing against good players, that obviously will be a hindrance to you. And you don't want that because, of course, there are better K-Bar variants out there that actually cost half the price of the K-Bar Invective. Now, if you are a regular player, then the Invective will be fine for you, it will be suited for you, it will be tailor-made for you. But if you want to step your game up and you want to challenge and actively challenge tryhards and very good players, then of course, this gun may hold you back. So the best variants for the K-Bar, in my opinion, are the Bunker Buster, aka the Igloo Buster, solely for the fact that you can nuke the entire enemy team and actually end the game in TDM if you drop that deatomizer. It also comes with extra ammo capacity. And with the K-Bar, you want to be aggressive with this weapon. You want to destroy multiple opponents with this weapon in a short space of time so that extra ammo will come in very useful. The Igloo Buster and the Bunker Buster are the same variants, just with different names and one you can put a camo on it and one you can't. The Igloo Buster you see me often using. Now the K-Bar is best paired with a synaptic rig with rewind and propulsion, I'm sure you guys know this by now. And the Bunker Buster aka the Igloo Buster only cost 2000 salvage, so that in my opinion is the better K-Bar variant than the K-Bar Invective. So which brings me to the final point, does the K-Bar Invective get the Captain Shock seal of approval? Does it pass the test? Well, the answer is straight up no, it does not get the Captain Shock seal of approval and I don't recommend spending 4000 salvage on this weapon. If you get it through a supply drop, that is great. Definitely try it out, definitely use it. It's a fun weapon to use, it's not bad at all. But is it worth 4000 salvage? Absolutely not. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do leave a like if you did. Please share the videos, guys. If you want to see me grow, I would appreciate that. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye.